Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and you'll see the work for 3640. I'm not doing the facts, so I'm just going to do this series up here. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Go to preferences and you can do it then. I'm open it up and let's see what this says. It still is on always use the driver's paper source setting, so I'm going to hit OK. OK. Now I'm gonna hit apply and I'm gonna hit print. And let's see what happens. Okay. No problems whatsoever. Hi, my name is Serena. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Rena Rocks. Thank you for joining me today. I have a video about settings. A lot of times with these edit Epson printers, settings can really cause us a problem. If the paper source setting doesn't match, then it won't print. If it's with border, without printer, with border or without border for some reason for different prints, it may not print. You may ha you have to choose the right setting for the right project. So what I want to show you here is something I figured out in the advanced settings. And so I'm going to show you how you can actually, instead of having to, when you, how do I say this? When you print from your laptop or computer, if the paper source is not the same that's already on your printer, that's on your laptop, then it says paper source setting doesn't match. And you have to hit yes or no. So sometimes I'll print something on pr premium paper, but the printer is set for plain paper. So it'll ask me, do you still want to print? Yes or no. And I may hit print and walk away and not realize that it didn't print because it's still waiting, waiting for me to hit yes or no. So what I'm going to do today is show you how you can set your printer up so whatever you choose from your laptop, your printer will automatically select and you don't have to go hit both. And I hope I show that in a way that you can understand. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm gonna show you two things first. So here I have the Workforce 2650 and the Workforce 3640 on my, the drivers on my laptop. And I'm, I, I think I, I put up a video about how to install the driver and where to find it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to right click on this. If you can see that. And I'm going to go to printer settings and click on that. So that's for the workforce 2650. Now I'm going to bring up the other one just to show you the contrast. Not to get you confused. Okay, so that's it. Okay, that was a 3640 printer settings. Okay, so I don't need that. Okay, here are my two printers. And they're set on two different things so I could show you what I'm talking about. Here on the Workforce 2650, you go to Maintenance and you go to Extended Settings. If you go down here, you see it says Always Use the Driver's Paper Source Setting that's not clicked but on the workforce 3640 I have it clicked and you can see that so what that does is from now on when I print on the 3640 whatever setting is already 
it doesn't matter what setting I chose on the printer what setting I choose from the laptop is what it's going to print out so I don't have to worry about it waiting for me or is this right yes or no is paper source valid or that kind of thing or it's not printing because you have to choose this it's automatically going to use what I have chosen from the from the laptop from the computer however the workforce 2640 I don't have it chosen so what's going to happen is it's going to say this paper source does not not match do you still want to print so I'm going to show you that in action right now hold on just a moment so I need to bring this up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print so hold on for just a second okay this is the workforce 2650 and to make sure this works I'm going to set it paper set up I'm going to set it for premium matte okay done okay okay so you saw I set it on premium matte however watch this for my preferences I'm going to switch it to oh hold on make sure this is the right one okay this is the work let's see this is not the 3640 this is the 2650. Okay, so 2650 preferences. Okay, and I know that because, let me double check, that's not checked. Okay, and so preferences, I'm, even though I set it for matte, I'm gonna go bright white paper and see what it does. Now I set the printer, but this is something now, but the computer and the printer is not gonna match, so I'm gonna apply and hit print. And let's see what it does. Excuse me, I'm just gonna come right over here just so I can show you. Look what it says. Paper source setting. Let's see, print on letter premium, yes or no. Now, if I would have walked away because I heard that first click, I would have thought, okay, it's going to print. Paper type does not match. So, I'm going to say, because I'm going to say, so it's going to print on plain paper. And like the button. Print it nicely. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna go back. So we saw that it's on now it's on letter plane because I changed it. So let me change it back. Let me go back and I'm gonna reset it to premium matte and let's see what happens. Okay, so I came back to here, and you saw how I had to go over and hit the button. So what I'm going to do, we don't need this anymore, it's just to show you. I'm going to hit this, always use the driver's paper source setting. So, I'm going to hit OK. Okay, I'm going to go back to here. Now on the printer, I selected Premium Matte. And it stopped me. So here I'm going to select paper, plain white. And let's see if it automatically forces the printer to print in plain white. If it will change it itself or if I have to change it. Because I clicked that button to always use the printers. So I'm going to hit print. So let's see what happens. Let's take the camera over there. And let's see if it just works. Here we go. So 
So this is another way that kind of takes out a few of the steps of printing, especially if you go back and forth between like glossy paper, cardstock, or or other various kinds of paper. Let's see. Let me get that back up. Between, let's see, plain white paper envelope, glossy, premium glossy. So it'll just go with what the which you have chosen on the computer instead of you having to go back and forth and choosing it on the computer and choosing it on the printer. So I hope this helps. As you see, it worked the first time around when I didn't have this advanced setting clicked. I had to, I had to go over to myself to the printer and change it. But when you have this clicked, it uses the drivers that you installed on the computer. It uses that paper source setting. If this, I hope this wasn't confusing and I hope it helped and you may have to watch it uh, a few times to kind of get it or if you put questions in the comment section, I'll be happy to help you if I can. So I just want to say thank you for joining me, YouTube channel Rena Rocks. Always shine bright and have a great day. Happy printing.